Well, good morning, Miramar. Hi, it's Tamara G on this Wednesday, August 22nd, and we're going to get right to it. We'll start with what's happening in the news headlines as well as the weather forecast for today for Miramar. High today getting up to about 91, low of 77. We've got about a 50% chance of rain, but don't we always have that here in South Florida? Thank goodness in the middle of this hurricane season, we have not had a problem with hurricanes, but we are expecting those thunderstorms to come, and as usual, they come later in the afternoon. Let's get to those news headlines right now this morning. It seems like the former attorney for President Trump has decided to plead guilty to campaign finance violations, tax and bank fraud. Michael Cohen is pleading guilty to those charges. It is part of a plea deal. Of course, we're not sure what this means for President Trump or what he may have told uh, the Mueller investigation and anything else, but we will keep you posted on that. Also, some other news that's going on. Cannabis stocks seem to be on the rise and soaring since the beer company Corona actually invested into a Canadian cannabis company, about $4 billion into that company. So uh, it seems like that is going to be the new thing happening. We, of course, lost the Queen of Soul last week. Aretha Franklin. What a sad day, but remembering all of the great music that she gave us. Funeral services are this week for the Queen of Soul. Um, certainly going to miss her and everything that she brought to our lives. Just was watching a lot of previous video, particularly the Kennedy Center Honors, when she came on and surprised Carol King by singing A Natural Woman. You make me feel like a natural woman. Uh, she was in her fur <laughs> when she came up. Only the Queen of Soul could come up on stage in her fur and tear it up. Um, I remember when she sang at the Grammys back in 1998, um, and she sang in Italian because she stepped in at the last minute for Pavarotti. Truly, truly a prodigy, an icon, a diva. I don't know if we have enough words to describe the late, great Aretha Franklin, who passed last week after a long time battle with pancreatic cancer. We will miss you, the Queen of Soul. Other entertainment news. Now, this right here, I must admit, I was happy and I was a little sad. So everybody knows that Michael Jackson is truly my, I am his number one fan. I love me some MJ. So for many years, he has held the title of the best selling album of all time. Well, someone has beat that record. And I must admit, I'm happy that it's who it is. The Eagles, their greatest hits, actually has sold 38 times platinum. That means they've sold 38 million copies of that album to beat Michael Jackson, who is at 33 million. So it's really up to me now to just go out and buy six more million copies of Thriller. I mean, I could do it because I love that album. Uh, but congratulations to the Eagles who have been around forever and have made some great music. Um, they are now at the top of the pile. The cool thing is not only do they have the number one album, like the best selling album of all time at 38 a million. They also have the number three album with, um, you know, their album. And, and it's the one, of course, that everyone, you know, Hotel California is on that one. And that one is number three. So they have the number one and the number three best selling albums of all time. Michael Jackson sandwiched in the middle there. And don't forget, we have early voting here in South Florida. So whatever county you're in, you can go and vote until Sunday, early voting. And then, of course, on Tuesday is Election Day. That is Tuesday, August 28th. You must vote in your precinct. But right now, particularly in Broward County, you can go to many of the public libraries and they have early voting going on right now. So please exercise your right to vote. There's people running for Congress. There's people running for mayor. Also, you have your commissioners. Uh, you have people on the school board that are running. It is very important to get out and exercise your right to vote. And I vote that you put September 22nd on your calendar. That is the Hispanic Heritage Festival that is happening right here in Miramar at the Miramar Amp. That's at the Miramar Regional Park from 6 to 11 p.m. Come on out. It's a free event. It's family friendly. We'd love to see you there. And that's it for all the news headlines this morning. Coming back, we have a very special guest to tell you about how you can make your dream of home ownership become a reality here in South Florida. Marcia Berry Smith from Habitat for Humanity, Broward County is going to be in the house to tell you more about that. So stick around. Take a look at what's happening in Miramar.
visit miramarfl.gov. And welcome back to Good Morning Miramar. I'm Tamara G. And with me this morning is truly one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, particularly here in South Florida, but just in the whole wide world, Marcia Barry Smith. She is the Director of Community Outreach and Program Services for Habitat Broward. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Tamara. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here. It is excellent to be here. So tell us a little yes. bit about Habitat Broward and what it's all about. So Habitat Broward mm -hmm. is about building homes. Uh, our vision is that we see the world, a world with everyone having decent, safe, affordable housing. And so we go out every year, once a year, and we have open enrollment. And that is an opportunity for people to come in online and make an application for home ownership. Now, there, of course, there are certain restrictions. Absolutely. You cannot have owned a home in the last, ever, ever, ever. You cannot have owned a home. You must have lived in Broward County for at mm. least the last 12 months and have proof of that. You cannot have filed bankruptcy in the last three years unless it's been discharged. You must be an American citizen or have a green card and be eligible to work. And you cannot have been convicted mm -hmm. of a major federal felony of any kind. Okay. And so those are the only restrictions initially. Also, your income cannot exceed the guidelines. And the guidelines change each year because, of course, HUD is the agency that provides us with those guidelines. Mm -hmm. So those are the initial sort of gateway issues. Once you get past that, you will be asked all the questions. It's very, very simple to be put through. And that's the first, the second process. The third process is you will be attending a class. Oh, the homeowners class. That's correct. Yeah. And at that one, they will learn everything there is to learn about how to qualify for a home. Of course, there's paperwork all day long. Uh, listen, y'all better get ready for that. That's because exactly you're, right. You're going to have paperwork for sure. For sure. Um, but with what you're giving them, and I was so amazed at this, you, they will be getting a 0% mortgage. You, you stole my thunder. <laughs> yes, that is exactly right. Habitat, you do have a mortgage. Mm -hmm. And of course, you'll have to pay this mortgage back. But at zero interest, Amazing. this makes it so affordable. And that is why Habitat is the answer to affordable housing, especially the way that it is here in Broward County. We're suffering so much. Mm -hmm. So many people have to pay more than 60% of their monthly income towards housing. And this is our way of saying we want we, we we strive to bring everyone together seeking god to put god's love into mm -hmm. action by creating a link between people community and hope and what better hope is there than to have a home and i know that that's important to you marcia because as long as i've known you you've been involved in getting people into their homes first in the banking industry um, then of course now with the habitat broward why is that so important, not only to you, but to Habitat Broward, to make sure that, you know, most of us are able to own a home one day? Home ownership is the American dream, Tamara. Mm -hmm. It's the American dream, and it's a dream that hasn't died. We, there are people who, for one reason or another, may not earn as much as the next person, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that they deserve any less to own a home. And that's where Habitat, we're a Christian organization, but of course we serve all faiths. It, Absolutely. And, and, so, and those with no faith. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's the reason behind what we always have done, is to provide stable, secure home ownership for our residents. The families that we have, if you, you would understand if you could see some of the stories. Mm -hmm. The stories of mothers, um, they just warm the heart. And okay. so I say Habitat is in the house. We open September 5th to the 19th, open enrollment. Go online, habitatbroward.org. 
Find out for yourself. Don't listen to anybody else. <laughs> Find out for yourself. So, well, okay. Tamara, thank you so much. No problem. I tell you what, actually, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more with Marcia about Habitat Broward, um, particularly, you know, maybe some of the areas that they are going to be building homes sure, and too. also what you would need to do, because I know one of the things is that you've got to put in some sweat equity, too. That's right. So we'll talk about that when we come back. <laughs> we'll be right back with Good Morning Miramar. Take a look at what's happening in Miramar. Visit MiramarFL.gov. Hi, and welcome back to Good Morning Miramar. I'm Tamara G. Here with Marcia Barry Smith, of course, Director of Community Outreach and Program Services for Habitat Broward. You need to go online to habitatbroward.org. Open enrollment starts September 5th. Of course, if you are looking for home ownership in Broward County, this is a great way to do it, particularly if you are on the lower income end. And as you mentioned, Marcia, those guidelines do change. So what, you know, a lot of people may think, oh, well, I'm not. Um, lower income or maybe I'm too high income but you've got to go online to find exactly, out. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. I tell everyone go online mm -hmm. and find out. Don't, don't listen, don't, don't get fearful, go for it. Mm -hmm. And then we talked a little bit earlier about how um, some of the things that you must have. You must you know, be a resident of Broward County. You must have lived here That's for correct. 12 months before. Uh, no felonies, things like that. But there's also sweat equity. Yes, not, yes. you've got to have some <laughs> skin in the game. Okay. Skin in the game is a total of $2,000 that you're going to have to put down. And you can do it in increments while you're waiting for to be assigned a home. And you also have to put in sweat equity. And I do mean sweat. Mm -hmm. This is South Florida after all. <laughs> yes, it is. And so they're going to have to help to build their homes. They're okay. going to have to come up. 300 sweat equity hours are required. But then you will know what went into your home. You will know the paint. You'll know the nails. You'll know the trussing. You'll know the roofs. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable experience to, to go through this. And sweating is a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's expected but it's worth every minute. And a $2,000 down payment when most people have to put down 30%, a that, third of you right, know what exactly. their house is worth. Plus, we pay the closing costs. What? So what, <laughs> what, how could it be better? Right. You've got to stick to it. You've got to stay with the program. You've got to work it. You've got to be there. You've got to be on time. All of these things are, are natural. But then at the end of the day, having that home, is is all is what it's all about. Yeah. And here in South Florida, because of uh, you know the rental properties mm -hmm. here, you know people are getting thirteen, fourteen, eighteen hundred dollars for rental property when it would be a lot less for you to own that home. Oh yes. And oh, yes. and even if you were paying that, it's still your house. It's not money that you're giving to someone else That's to make correct. them rich. That's correct. And more people can qualify again mm -hmm. because of zero interest being charged. That is awesome. Yes. And so now some of the houses for Habitat Broward, particularly now in this field, you guys are going to be starting in Pompano. Yes, we're starting mm -hmm. in Pompano. We have a 77 home community wow. in Pompano, single family. Mm -hmm. We have one and two story homes, three and four bedroom homes, depending on the size of the family. So that's going to be our concentration, but we are coming into other parts of the county. Okay. Um, we have Miramar in our sites, awesome. we have other cities on, in our sites, mm -hmm. and we're happy to say we're going to be doing um, a class on the 27th of September at the Social, Social Services. Social Services, yeah. that's right, mm -hmm. thank you for that. No problem. And um, that's going to be, if you've been invited, that's by invitation only. But we are coming into the south part of the county. We're going to be here, and we're looking forward to meeting you all. Well, we all know it's right here in Miramar. So, and it is right here in Miramar That's on September 27th, uh, 6700 Miramar Parkway at the Social Services Building. Again, as Marcia said, you must be invited uh, to that. But you get invited because you go online and you fill out all That's the information right. Right. for HabitatBroward.org if you are trying to become a homeowner in 2018-2019. Remember, you cannot have owned a home before. 
Mm -hmm. So that's very important as well. Okay, sounds good. And the uh, enrollment period is September 5th till? The 19th. Okay, so giving everybody two weeks. Uh, two full <laughs> weeks. Okay, two full weeks. Yes. And uh, you start on it September 5th at 12.01 a.m. 12.01 a.m. <laughs> and we're, we're laughing about that, but I guarantee you there will be oh, people yes. up filling out that uh, open enrollment oh, just are. so they can be yes. considered. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Sounds good. And those are the ones that we want, the one whose heart is in it. All right. And if you want to be in it, meaning your new home in 2018, 2019, you need to go to open enrollment. It starts September 5th through the 19th. That's two full weeks. Uh, HabitatBroward.org. HabitatBroward.org. For more information, fill out the uh, initial information. They will get back to you. And of course, of course, Marcia has been around for many, many years here in the South Florida area. She's put a lot of people in homes. I went to her home buyers uh, class. That's I was one. Right. Yes, That's I was in right. your home buyers yes, class. There you go. That's there when I go. met her more than 20 years ago. And I know this is a passion for you. I know oh, yes. that yes. this is what you are meant to do. And the, and the main thing is too that a lot of people think, okay, I've made my goal. Mm -hmm. But what they find when you become a homeowner, that's just the beginning. It's not the end. Oh, sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Marcia. I certainly appreciate it. Love you much. She's going to be back. Uh, she's gonna, when they break ground, hint, hint, in Miramar, we're going to have her back. Uh, Marcia Barry that's, Smith. That, that's, that's, that's right. Well, we're going to say it in the affirmative. Director of Community Outreach and Program Services for Habitat Broward. Again, open enrollment September 5th through the 19th, habitatbroward.org. Well, that's it for Good Morning Miramar today. I'm Tamara G. I will join you next Wednesday morning right here on Good Morning Miramar. See ya. Thank you.